Our friends over at Zen Armor liked one of my videos that I did. In fact, they liked it and they gave me a promo code to hand off to you guys. They also gave me a license for a year to show you guys some tips and tricks and if you guys have questions for me to assist with that. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to add your uh, Zen Armor uh, OpenSense firewall to the cloud and then apply your license and then set up another guest network. Zen Armor is free. 100% free until you hit the limitation. And there's a couple of limitations. You can only have so many features and then they start paying for it. Is you can set up different policies for different networks. Now with Zen Armor, you get one policy. But for $89, you can have more policies. I believe it's up to three. The nice thing about that is, say you have a home network, a guest network, and maybe you have like a kids network because you have multiple kids uh, and you want to protect them with this software. You could set up policies for them to do certain things that you can, but they can't. That's a really nice feature. Or, or you have a guest network where you have the home network, you're on it, all that kind of stuff. Or you have a guest network and you want the guests not to do certain things on your network like going to adult websites or surfing certain web or certain apps like TikTok and other stuff like that. So today I'm going to show you how to do all that kind of stuff. Like, subscribe, and let's do this. This is my test box. It's running on my favorite little Datto box over here. Little i3, what is this beast? i3 5th gen with 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. Plenty. As you can tell, the CPU is sitting at 1% with Zen Armor working and all the features enabled. So what we need to do is we need to add our Zen Armor to the Zen console. So what we do is we go Zen Armor, and I believe it's under configuration. Yep. And as you can tell, I have two networks here, but we're going to change that. We have to get it added here. So we go to Cloud Management. It's disabled because I'm using the free edition. And what we do is we click on the cloud firewall here and we have to log in. I have 2FA on everything, so we'll have to grab my phone. And then we're logged in. Now we have to edit this and add it to us. So what do we do? We go register to cloud portal. Oh, do I have to enable it first? Well, first we have to enable that. Else it's not gonna work. Now we got a green button. Now we can click register uh, management portal. We'll close this. There we go. We'll go Jason's lab, that old box, just so I can identify it. Now you can have three of these um, firewalls on here. And just because you don't have a license and you don't have, you're using the free version does not mean you can't use this. You can use this and edit all the settings you can with your policy underneath here. But if you have more than one policy, you need that $89 subscription. And if you think about it, Untangle, which I used to really like, was $150 US a year, and this is only $89. Now, what's if we Google that? Oh, if I type that right. If we go $150 US to Canadian, $200 a year. That's a lot of money. Right now in these economies, that's a lot of money. For free, you could do exactly all this. But if you want to get that next step, you could pay the $89. And I'm going to leave a link neck down below. It's an affiliate link. Um, doesn't help me any. I just said to, hey guys, um, whatever you want to do, to pass on to people who want to buy it, give her. I think it's like 10% off or something like that. So every little bit helps, right? Anyways, let's go back to here. So we should be able to go to home, should see my firewall and there it is right now node one i don't know why it keeps saying this i think their page hasn't refreshed yet so we can see all the stats all that now now i think we should be able to add a license to this i know there's a license on my account my account subscriptions my subscription how do i add this to the firewall action activation key oh that's probably what I need I think we need the activation key 
This should be in here. Add your firewall. Okay, so let's try this again. Jason's lab. Box. Okay. Now it added. Sorry. Maybe I forgot to push uh, apply. Settings. Subscription. Yeah, that makes sense. Settings. Subscription. Activation key. We'll add that in there. Submit. Submit. This is tied to my email address with another code, just so you guys know. Restarting the engine, as we can see here. And right up here, you'll see it says home. It's got a home edition on there. So now let's go to our box over here. Go to dashboard. Policies. Right now... I should be able to click on this and edit everything. I can because I have that home subscription. Um, I'm going to leave this one like this, but let's add a new policy. So let's go back to policies. Add. Oh, so now we can... Before, if you didn't have a subscription, you couldn't do this. You only had one. But now that we have this. So let's call this guest network. We'll call this guests. And we'll apply this to guests only. VLANs, I believe, oh, we have to go like this. Uh, we're going to leave this as just this because the guest is a VLAN and it's already added. Let's see here. Should we be able to go next security rule? Yeah, that's fine. We want to go block malware, block phishing, spam sites. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Since I have the paid version now, we can use this feature over here too. Block dead site, sure. Next, application control. We want to block ads, ad trackers. Mm. What else? Okay, next, web controls. We want to black adult control, ad trackers, gambling, games, illegal drugs. What else? Where is sites? Swimsuits and underwear. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's get technical. Okay, next. We don't have any exclusions, but we're going to go save changes. Now for giggles, I'm going to go back to the default and I'm going to change this name. I'm going to, uh, why can't I go back? We got guest default. Should be able to change this. Policies. Can't I change this? No? It's the default. Okay, see, it's a catch all. That's why. Um, the default one is for that. The other one's guest. But I want to go to web and I want to permissive. I want to allow everything. Technically, I should be able to get to any website I want on this one. But on the guest network over there, which is what my laptop's connected to, because I have it on there, we shouldn't be able to get to any adult websites. Now, I'm not going to show you that because I will get in trouble, but I'm going to go to an adult website over there and see what it does. I think the first policy that I made did not work. So if we go back to our console here, wait for it to refresh. It's online and working. Let's look at the policies. Is it up to date? Let's see here, guest. Is that what we called this one? Just guest, yep, it's just guest. I didn't add any IP addresses in here, but I did have to add VLAN 100. Okay, so that's in there, that's in there, default. Let's create uh, one more, and let's call this uh, home. Actually, I'm not going to do it this way, because I haven't done it the other way. So we got the guest policy, and it's working, because I can't get to 
a site here. The website I want to go to is starts with a P, blocked, right? Okay. We're on the guest network. Let's create a adult network, but let's do it in the Zen console. So let's go create a new policy. We're going to call this home. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it home. So create. It's successfully created. So now we're going to click on it, enable it. And we'll go here. We're going to go add VLANs. We're going to go re1 because re1 is the default network, which is 192.168, as we can see up the top here, 10 network, right? So we got the 10 network. Let's go security. So we want to go hacking website. Sure, we don't need any of that malware activity. Um, this one. Botnet and CNC. Uh, anything else we want to? Coming soon. Oh, there's new features coming. Cool. So we'll go app controls. We want to block ads. We'll let everything else go through. Okay. We'll go web controls. We'll let everything through here. Is there anything we don't want? Let's see here. Legal drugs. Let's get rid of it. We'll just add that one. Exclusions, none. So as we could tell, it just synchronizes, or it still synchronizes. A little bar comes up right here, on here. It says that uh, it, it's doing that. Let right, me move me over here. Sorry, didn't realize I was so far over. So it looks like we got that. Now let's go back to Zen Armor and see if our policy is here. Do we have to refresh this page? We'll go click on this one. Back to policies. And it did it. Oh, there's a neat little icon there too. This one was added by the cloud. That's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my laptop on the home network. I'm going to turn it so you can't see it, see if I can go to a web page. I should technically be able to go to any website I want. Let's do that. Let's grab this cable. I'll add it to port 5. I'll move my laptop so you can't see it. So I don't get banned and in trouble from YouTube. I think the first time I had troubles there is uh, the policy didn't synchronize or something like that because I've been using Zen Armor on my home network for the family. And yeah, it works great. I don't have, I'm going to be buying a license for myself. Let's see here. Let's go to this website. Let's make sure that the sound is off. Yep, I can get to that website. So that is working now. Now that I've created that, that is working. That is extremely nice to have. Two different policies, but up to three, up to three network policies for um, doing that. Now I see three now, but does that mean four? No. So we get the default policy, we get the home network, and then the guest network. So technically, you could use the default as the home and maybe home or guest, you can create it however you, excuse me, however you want. You should be able to do that. Can't see why not. The default one, you can add as many things as you want. The only thing you can't change on the default is what networks it protects. So technically, if you wanted to have everything go through you could use that for that and then the other two since you can create and or change all the um, features on it you can use that so i think it's a lot better of a system i mean if you don't need all these features you're a lot better off paying nothing i mean it's really good service they have some really good support on their website and, uh, and on the uh, open sense forum so for me that's a a uh, a bonus so I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, kind of fuffled the first one there, but I think that was just a um, broken policy that just didn't get set properly, maybe because I clicked a button or something. But as we deleted it and re-added it, it worked perfectly. I can get to a website that I shouldn't be and a website that I shouldn't be with it blocked. So 
that's perfect. You guys have a great day. Like, subscribe if you have any questions. Uh, down below, I'll put the affiliate link so you guys can save yourself 10 bucks or 15% off, I think it is. 10 or 15% and uh, go from there. So, see you later.